Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install this iFlight Zing 2 1404 Cinewhoop motor onto this Beta FPV Beta 95X version 3 drone frame guys. In addition to installing the motor guys, I will also be telling you high level overview of this drone frame guys. So guys, I have already done the unboxing and review of this iFlight Zing 2 1404 motor guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start installing the motor onto the drone frame guys let me give you an high level overview of what kind of frame this is and what are the features and how to install the components onto this drone frame guys as you know guys this drone frame is called Cinewhoop drone frame guys as it comes with the protector guys it is very stable and it is very safe to fly this drone indoors guys which is why guys it has a propeller guard onto the side guys as you can see guys this also comes with four places to install the motor guys but here the motor will be installed onto the bottom side and your propeller will be facing onto the bottom guys so that is how guys your propeller is going to move so it is non-conventional design where your normally motors are installed facing onto the top and propeller is onto the top side guys but in this frame guys with the cinevo kind of design guys you will have the propeller facing onto the bottom guys and onto the top side guys here you have the velcro belt guys so as to hold the battery on to the front side guys you will be installing the camera so that is how it is going to be installed here you can see guys the holes are really small guys so you will be using m.2 screws to install the motor onto this drone frame and also guys since it is going to be a small drone guys so ensure that guys whenever you buy the motor for this kind of frame guys it has to be really small in addition to that guys here onto the back side here you can see the hole this is the hole to hold the antenna for your video transmitter so that is what it is used for on to the back side guys here you can see although the body is made out of plastic it comes with the carbon fiber base body guys so that is how it looks like so here is the place guys where you normally install your esc and your flight controller guys as you can see guys this is a small drone frame guys so it takes only 20 mm stack flight controller guys to be installed on this kind of frame guys on to the back side guys here you can see there is a small place this is the place guys where you install either the gps or your vtx whose antenna will be installed onto the back here guys onto the side guys here you can see there is a red and black color foam guys which is attached so as to protect it from damage whenever it crashes indoor guys so which is also something really nice onto the bottom side here you can see it has the cover guys so as to cover the circuitry which you installed inside guys to protect your esc your flight controller and your vtx and gps which will be installed here guys that is how it is used for guys so this is the Beta FPV Beta 95X version 3 Cinewhoop drone frame guys. So that is how it looks like and that is how it is used for. So this is the high level overview of the drone frame guys. Let's quickly install the motor onto this drone frame. As you know guys, in my previous video, I have already done the unboxing and in-depth review of this iFlight Zing 1404 guys. In that video guys, I have already told you how to calculate the power, what are the RPM, what is the torque. So all those information is already told to you guys in my previous video. If you have not seen that video guys, I highly recommend to watch that video before this video guys. Now let's quickly open this and take out the motor before we can install it onto the drone frame guys. So as you can see guys, these are really small motor guys, as I have told you before, this is a Cinewhoop. So this requires a really small size motor to be installed onto the drone frame. It has to be lightweight and in addition to that, it has to be really small and the mounting screw for this kind of motor has to be M.2 screws. So as you can see guys, onto the bottom, this is really small motor guys and the mounting screw for this kind of motor is M.2 and these are the screws supplied along with this motor guys. So these are M.2 screws so as to be able to install this motor onto the drone frame. These are all four identical motor guys. So let's quickly take this out. These motors are iFlight Zing 2 1404 motor guys. So that is how it is. So 
so as you can see guys these are all four motors that were there inside the box guys and these are all four pair of screws that came along with it to mount it onto the drone frame in addition to that guys you would notice that it does not have a thread onto the shaft guys and onto the top side guys there are four holes to be able to mount the propeller onto this motor guys so this is also really different about these kind of motors guys so you do not have threaded screw or the nut so as to be able to tighten the propeller onto the top of the shaft as you would have seen in my previous video for other FPV motor guys. So this Cinebook motor guys has a different type of propeller to be installed which is smaller in size which is going to be screwed onto the top side guys with the holes that you have onto the top and onto the bottom side guys it is really small base plate with M.2 screws to be installed. So that is what motor looks like let's quickly install it onto the drone frame. As I have told you before guys the motor will be installed facing on to the bottom side guys so that is how you are going to install the motor the shaft has to face on to the bottom guys so that is how you install it each of these motor comes with eight pair of screws guys four to install the motor on to the frame and four to install the propeller on to this motor guys that is why guys each of these motor comes with eight identical screws guys these are m.2 screws guys to be able to use it to install it onto the drone frame so now guys let's quickly install the motor onto the drone frame facing onto the bottom so guys as before the wire of the motor has to be pointing towards the body of the drone frame guys so that is how you need to install so your motor will be installed like this and your wire will be facing towards the body of the drone frame guys so as to be able to connect to the ESA which you are going to install it onto the center of the drone frame guys so that is how you need to install so let's quickly install it guys let's put the screws from the back one by one I like to push the screws first guys so as to be able to align the motor properly and then I will tighten this up so here you can see guys I have pushed in the screws now I will put the motor on the top of the screws which are coming out on the other side guys ensuring that my wire is facing towards the center so that is how I'm going to install it guys like this so guys once my motor is aligned I will tighten this up using the screwdriver that I have so let's quickly do that let's quickly align the screws first and then we will tighten it up all together as before guys ensure that you tighten it up all the way to the bottom guys so as to ensure that guys your motor do not vibrate whenever it is operating at the same time guys ensure that whenever you install these screws it is not touching to the coil of the motor guys so as to prevent it from any damage or short circuit whenever it is installed so that is how you need to install it guys so as you can see I have tightened the motor up and my motor is successfully installed correctly onto the drone frame it is not moving it is not loose at the same time guys it is able to move so that is how guys you need to install the motor onto the drone frame now guys I will repeat the same process onto all four arms and come back so as you can see guys I have already installed all the four motor following the same procedure guys here all the motors are facing on to the bottom guys so drone is going to fly like this guys all the motors are facing on to the bottom guys all the motor wires are now pointing on towards the center of the drone frame guys so as to be able to connect it to the ESC in my future videos guys I will tell you how to install the ESC and then we will cut these wires and solder it directly to the ESC guys and we'll do the proper cable management for today guys I have successfully installed all the motors onto the back side guys here you can see I have successfully screwed all the four M.2 screws onto this frame guys as you know guys this is a carbon frame onto the bottom guys and the body is made out of plastic so as to keep the weight light guys so you can see here guys the motor is perfectly sized and then it is properly moving as well guys so these are not too tight and not too small and at the same time guys there is no vibration and there is no loose connection so that is how guys you need to install the motor onto this Cinevo drone frame guys onto the screen guys I will show you here the high level connection guys on how to install 
install or connect these motors onto the ESC guys. As you know guys, the flight controller stack that I'm going to use onto this Cinebook is PDB F7 Mini flight controller guys with its corresponding 35 ampere bell heli mini esc guys so as to be able to power these motors and control the speed and direction guys so that is what i am going to use in my future videos guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so this is it guys this concludes this video on how to install the motor onto this cinebo drone frame guys and also high level overview of this beta fpv beta 95x version 3 drone frame guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies